Okay, today we'll look at changing the subject of a formula, but in this lesson, the unknown, well, my required subject is going to be on both sides of the equal sign. So, example one, if I give you all, say, you know, a minute or so to copy it down, and then we'll do it. So, here we go then. So, I'll write it down again. I remember my goal here is to make x the subject. That means I want x on its own on the left hand side at the end of the process. Now we can see here, I got x on, x is on both sides of the equal sign, here and here. So remember, as we always do, all right, we're gonna, this 3x here has gotta go. So I'll take it off both sides now, okay, like I always do. So I'll take 3x off both sides, all right. 7x take away 3x is 4x plus 8y. 3x is all gone. And I'm just left with positive 5 or just 5 on the right hand side. Now back to before, innit? Remember, I just, uh, the 8y the has got to go. And because it's positive, I'm going to take it away. So 4x equals 5 minus 8y. Remember, I can't simplify the right hand side because. That's a five, and these are these are y's. They're unlike terms. And to finish off, now we know, don't we? To get rid of the four, I better divide by it. So x equals five minus eight y divided by four, and then we are done. All right, then uh, example two. Um, again, perhaps pause the video on this one and have a go. It's very similar to the previous one. Okay, welcome back. Let me write it down again real quick. So I hope we agree the first thing to do is to get rid of these two x's by taking them away. 9x take away 2x is 7x minus 5e. They're gone and you're just left with 8. Now these 5e's now, this time, they're negative. So I'm going to have to add them on this time. Again, you cannot combine these terms. The unlike terms. So leave it like that. And then I'll divide by seven. And I am done. Easy. Okay, example three. Again, maybe you know, pause the video, write the question down, and then we'll come back and solve it. All right. So welcome back. Here I am. This one again, very similar. I mean, don't let the order fool you, all right? I know these seven X's are here, but they still gotta go, all right? So I'm still gonna take them off. And I'm gonna get this. Okay. The four Q's have gotta go because they're negative. I gotta add them on. And you can see this time round, there's a Q here and a Q here. So these are, these here, they're like terms. So actually, I, I can combine these two. 13q add 4q is 17q. Okay. And again, to finish off, I'll divide by 3. So 17q over 3. All right. I know this is um, an improper fraction, but you wouldn't convert this to a mixed number. It's, it's, it's bad style. Okay. It's just 17q over 3. And we're done. So the last example, example four, again, I would pause the video, write it down and have a go, and I'll catch you in a bit. Okay, welcome back. Here I go with this one. It's very similar to example three, I think. Yeah, it is. Again, these six axes, they gotta go. All right, so here we go. There you go, just like that. The five Q's this time, they're positive. So I got to take them away. And again, these things, they're like terms. Nine Q take five Q is four Q. And now something really cool happens because if you divide by four, you get X equals four Q over four. The last time I checked, four divided by four is one. So it's 1Q, but if you've got style, then it's just Q. So this 1X equals Q. 
and we're done. So for the main task, all right, the uh, the worksheet is to be completed. It'll take you 20 minutes, all right? So crack on with that, and I'll come back in good enough time for the checking question. Oh, and I forgot, there's also a challenge question after the main task. So if you get to this one, again, pause the video and have a go at the challenge question. All right, then the checking question then is a preview of, of the next lesson, I suppose, really. So if we take a look at this one, write it down, pause the video, have a go, and come back to me shortly, okay? Right, let's see, here I go. I let me write it down again. Now this one, uh, remember, um, we've solved equations containing fractions before, and the goal was always to clear the denominators by making a common denominator first. And for this one, you've got no choice but to make this a fraction. Remember, a cheeky fraction is five over one. Okay, and now my common denominator, you can see, all right, is gonna have to be one times three x add y, which is just three x add y. So I'm gonna put them both over three x add y. And find my multipliers. Well, you can see here, this this three x add y hasn't changed, so this numerator is not going to change. And it's obvious to see that I've multiplied one of my by three x add y, so I've got a times the top also by three x add y. And so five times three x add y, I think, is fifteen x's plus five y's. That's just basic. Remember then the Denominators now will cancel, and we're just left with an example that's, well, very similar to what we've, what we've been doing all lesson, really. All right, so, you know, let's just flow. I'll take the 15 x's off both sides. So I get this. I'll take the one away. And I've just about gone through my thing to divide by four. I have to divide by the four, and you get x equals five y minus one. Oh, it's close. Divided by four, and with that, we are done. Nice one.